so uh, the cicada, they actually at first they live in the ground. Come here, I'll show you. First, they come out of these little holes at night. And then they walk along the ground and come over here to the tree. Then they walk up the tree, climbing all the way up until they come to here. And what happens is they climb out of their larval casing and then from their larval casing they come out and they fly around. So the cicada um, is actually a dry fly and the reason being that it comes from these casings uh, and because it has a hard shell they call it a dry fly. It emerges from a dry shell. And the interesting thing is, is the musical sound that you hear in the background is actually not the sound of its wings rubbing against its body. It is actually the sound of its abdomen contracting. And it has some little ribs and some sort of skin membrane that rubs up and down against the side abdomen. And this creates that musical sound that you hear from the uh, cicada, or semi as they call it in Japan. The interesting thing about the cicada is it's thought of as a traditional medicine in uh, China. So that means they actually eat them for uh, health. Um, it's also known that in ancient Greece they ate the cicada, as well as Burma, the Congo, um, and uh, Malaysia. The, and uh, Actually, I don't think I would try to eat one of them. Maybe wear it but not eat it. The semi has been a beloved insect in Japan for many hundreds of years. You can actually see some of the old Japanese artwork of children with nets going around catching them and keeping them as pets. Still today, when I walk through the park, I see little children with their nets catching the cicada and putting them in little cages to keep as pets. Uh, we will find that the cicada are kind of beautiful. Uh, they have very large eyes, wide apart, transparent, and their wings are well veined, some filled in with color and some transparent. Uh, we will also notice that there are some short antennae protruding from the front between the eyes of the cicada. So. Right now I'd like to show you some of the pictures that I took of the semi here in the park. So the interesting thing about the cicada is its onomatopoeia name in Japanese mean mean and that uh, mimics the sound of the cicada. The cicada in Japan is symbolic of resurrection, longevity, innocence and perpetual youth. The ultimate arrival of the summer and the samurai spirit of overcoming. There is a haiku that the Japanese have for the cicada, and uh, that is cicada shell. Little did I know it was my life.
so there you go. This has been my movie about uh, the cicada. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you uh, liked what you see. So uh, until next time. Bye for now.